For more, let's bring in Senator Bernie Sanders of Vermont, independent. Senator, good to have you with us tonight. You have uh, be been on this topic, on this program, numerous times. And now, finally, the President of the United States is going to make this a central theme in the State of the Union. Senator, what kind of an impact can this have? I think it's going to be huge. Uh, and let me bore the listeners and the viewers with some facts. Today, the top 1% owns 38% of the financial wealth of America. The bottom 60% own all of 2.3% of the wealth. One family, the Walton family, owns more wealth than the bottom 40%. In recent years, 95% of all new income has gone to the top 1%. Clearly, the president has got to lay out a series of proposals which says, you know what? We've got to pay attention to the working families of this country. We've got to address the crisis of unemployment, which means extending unemployment benefits, which means raising the minimum wage, which means creating a jobs program, which deals with the fact that 20 percent of our young people are unemployed. And it means paying attention. So the government represents all of us and not just the Koch brothers and big campaign control. What is the mission of the Republican senator at this point? They won't do anything on jobs. They won't do anything on unemployment extension. What are they for? What, I mean, they always talk about what they're against, but they never this say is what, what they're, they're for. for. Well, they do, Ed. I mean, if you look at what the Koch brothers and the other extreme right wingers are about, this is what they're about. They're about a society in which programs like Social Security, Medicare and Medicaid, uh, federal aid to education, a minimum wage, the concept of the minimum wage disappears. And if you can hire somebody for three bucks an hour from the Koch brothers perspective and from the perspective of most Republicans, that's just fine. They want to move us, Ed, and we should be very clear about this, into an oligarchic form of society where all of the rights that we have fought for for the last 80 years to protect the sick, the working families, the elderly, the children, the poor, all of those are pushed aside. And you are out there on your own. So if you're unemployed right now for seven months and you have nothing at all, they're not going to extend your unemployment benefits. If you are trying to feed your family on food stamps, they're going to cut your food stamps. If most of your income comes in by Social Security, they want to cut Social Security, eventually privatize it. They want to transform Medicare into a voucher program. So these are very, yeah. very radical people who want to undo what people have fought for for over 80 years in this country. Well, I think the president is going to have to lay it out about what he's up against, what the American people are up against, this ideology that you're talking about, this this obstruction in what they are for and what they are against based on their record. Moving it forward, I think the president is going to have to get extremely detailed on some of the numbers that you have put out there to make the case, because it, this may be a year where there's absolutely nothing gained legislatively. So the only thing the president can do, as I see it, Senator, is to go out and win the crowd, go out and win the people to the point where more Americans will side with him, that maybe it will shake the Republicans into doing something before the midterm. And of course, we've got a long way to go before that. But what can be accomplished in a State of the Union address, in your opinion? I think what the president has got to do is make the people understand what this right-wing extremist ideology is about. And if he is successful, and we are all successful in doing that, the end result is you're going to have maybe 10, 15, 20 percent of the people who believe we should give tax breaks to billionaires and cut Social Security or not raise the minimum wage. That's what we got, a handful of people. Our job is to make it clear what the Republicans stand for, the obstructionist role that they are playing, and to rally the American people around an agenda which speaks to the crisis facing working families in our country. And you know what the issues are. It, we've got to raise the minimum wage. We've got to extend long-term unemployment. We need a jobs program. We protect Social Security, Medicare and Medicaid. We think long and hard about extending this TPP trade agreement, which is not going to be good for working families. 
We have an agenda. Let's get it out there. Senator, when is it uh, time to tell these unemployed Americans, the 1.6 million people who have lost their unemployment benefits, there's a real possibility there's not going to be any extension. And it's now etched in stone. This is how many weeks you're going to get, and it's not going to go any. Are, are we close to that point when even though you got 69% of the American people think that the unemployment insurance should